Hey everybody, my name is Andrea Domian and today I'm testing a $100 backdrop that a company named Kate Backdrop had sent me. You can see it behind me and what I'm looking for today is to find out if I can create high-end, beautiful, magazine quality images with a backdrop like this one. I'm going to put the link in the description if you guys want to look up this website. They have hundreds of designs. First things first, I want to show you what I did yesterday. I came in the studio the evening before because I wanted to make sure I prepped the background. So let's see what happened. So I wanted to come in the evening before the photo shoot because I'm a planner. I don't like surprises, especially on the day of the photo shoot. And I received a backdrop and I have a feeling that something that fits into this size of a bag will need some ironing or steaming and I just wanna make sure it looks like what I expect. So the backdrop I chose is called Abstract Gold and I'm expecting um, a 10 by 10 foot backdrop with a lot of golden tones, yellows, and some browns on the edges. So let's see what it actually looks like. Okay, so this, this here is the picture of the backdrop. So that's so far, so good. So far, good so far. So this is where I guess I'm going to put the pole in to hang it. Ooh, this is huge. Okay, looks good. So what I'm gonna do is to put it on my backdrop stand. I have to say that I'm super impressed by the quality. I was expect expecting big creases because this was folded, this has been traveling for a couple days um, and honestly it hardly has any creases or wrinkles so um, that is a big 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 good point for Kate Backdrop. I'm going to definitely do a little bit of steaming because there are little creases that um, bug my eye but honestly if this was to be open on the day of the shoot, I would be happy to work with it and it's actually so much better than what I expected. So it's 10 foot by 10 foot. It's a good size of a backdrop um, for an individual to be shot in front of or even for families or multiple people. So I'm just going to pull it up and do a little steaming. Oh, one thing I'm gonna do is to put a little um, clip on both ends because I like to keep my backdrops in place. Let's make sure that it's all nice and stretched out. So again, my first impression is very good. It actually looks a lot like what it looked like on the screen when I ordered this backdrop. And there's hardly any creases. So I'll grab my steamer and we'll steam it. And it's so interesting, it's, it feels like it's, it's a microfiber cloth, so it's super lightweight and um, what I like about it is that it, it doesn't wrinkle. It's, it's so easy to, to put on the backdrop stand, it's so easy to just spread it out. So I'm actually very excited to try this out tomorrow. So yeah, let's get to the steaming part. So this was a breeze to steam the whole backdrop behind me. It didn't take me longer than five minutes and it was very easy and fast. I'm honestly super impressed with this quality so far. So just to summarize what I like about it. I like it that it's lightweight. I like it that it looks exactly what it's supposed to look like based on the website. And I like it that there were no wrinkles. So um, I could have been just setting this up on the day of the shoot without having any issues. I think if you have one of those handheld steamers, you could easily do it with that or just iron it here and there. Um, but other than that, I'm just excited to come back tomorrow and test it with a model. So for the first look, I thought that we would do something that has a bohemian vibe. And I brought my houseplant in with me because I want to put some shadows on this backdrop. So I'm going to bring in my model and then we'll see where it leaves us. So this is my beautiful model, Hannah, and she's gonna help me today to create these looks. Um, her Instagram is on the screen. Uh, I highly recommend check her out. And yeah, let's start the first look.
are ready for the second look and I have this beautiful gown on Hannah and the idea that I had was to have this curtain in front of her and then blow this curtain with a fan and make it move a little bit so I'm hoping to get a little bit more dynamics on this photo and some very nice backlighting so let's see what it looks like. to the third look where I like to achieve a darker backdrop. So the idea is that Hannah's gonna be standing here behind this white card and this is where my main light is. She's going to be fully exposed, fully lit, but the backdrop is gonna get much less light because we're further away from the backdrop. So I'm hoping that it would be darker and more like a brownish shade. So let's see. So guys, this was my testing of the Kate backdrop that you see behind me. I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed watching me creating these beautiful images. And overall, I have to say that I am super impressed with this um, product. I think it is, besides the fact that it's super affordable and lightweight and easy to carry, easy to store, very easy to set up because you can just put it on the pole and it's there. Um, the only negative I can think of is one thing that I would probably next time put an extra clip in the middle because you could see on the images that I had those waves on the top. And um, just the fact that in, with some poses when Hannah was laying down and sitting on the fabric, uh, it would wrinkle it up a little bit and I had to remove those in Photoshop. But honestly, um, if you put that on a scale compared to the price, I think it's still a very, very great deal because you could get sturdier backdrops that don't wrinkle for hundreds or even thousands of dollars. But if you don't want to do that, this is perfectly fine to create beautiful pictures. I always believe that you do not need high-end equipment to create beautiful pictures. You can start out with cheaper stuff and I highly recommend this backdrop. I had a great experience with it. Again, the link is in the description if you wanna check out all the designs that they have. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel because there's more to come. Love.